I'm going to start out by saying, Kal, Hello, Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baal Shem, Mekah HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, bliss, and salutations to the hopefully elect on the four corners of the earth. Putting in this work in faith, in truth, and in sincerity. And to the few sisters that are trying to receive the word of Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahweh Shah. In ominous meanness and silence, I say Shalom. Warm. I'm just going to um, go through Revelation 17 chapter real quick through the spirit. You know, as taught um, <clears throat> by the men who have been taught through the spirit, okay? Pastors according to the Most High's heart, you know, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. So I'm going to start off uh, Revelation 17 and 1. Uh, now, this is... Um, John the Revelator. Okay, he's on the island of, uh, of Patmos. Okay. <clears throat> so like you. And the angel is basically showing him the things um, to come. You know, um, basically the judgment of America. Okay. Reads Revelation 17 and 1. He reads, And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. Okay. Again, John the Revelator on, on the island of Patmos. Okay. And I, the, I, the angel has come to him, uh, John the Revelator, uh, and showing him the things to come. To make, you know, the destruction of America, man. Okay. Of uh, Babylon the Great. Okay. He says, I will show thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. That great whore is America, man. Okay, <clears throat> so you know America is the um, is the so-called top country, where the other nations come to make money, and had a freedom to to do all sorts of manner of wickedness, man. Okay, even the other nations' women come to America to be straight whores and sluts, man. Okay, anything goes here uh, in in America, man. Okay, it was just that um, America is that 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 um, that pot of scum, man, as mentioned. In the scriptures, man. Okay. It says, um, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, man. These waters represent the other nations of the earth, man. Okay. The Chinese, the Japanese, the Arabs, uh, the Africans, um, the Elamites, on and on and so on, man. Okay. That is the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. America is that great whore, and the waters are these other um, nations, man. Okay? <clears throat> Verse 2, it says, With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and in, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with her wine of fornication, man. Okay? So the, the, the kings of the earth, okay, of uh, these other nations, okay? They're under the vibration of Esau, man, okay? The, um, I said they've come, they, they've, Salakia, it says, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornications, uh, man, okay? So the other, the other nations are under the vibration of the so-called white man, okay, mainly Esau, okay, here uh, in in America, man, okay. They um they come here to to they trim their own ways and their own traditions to come on and put on a suit and tie and to to get down with Esau and his ways over here in America, man, okay. Many of these nations have um changed their ways and their their laws and customs. To follow uh, the ways of, of America, man. Okay? It says the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Okay? That's her philosophies, man. Okay? The wine of her fornication is her philosophies, man. Okay? Her uh, uh, democracy, gay rights, women rights. Okay? Uh, toxic uh, masculinity. And, and all other kind of madness, you know, over here in America, man. Okay? Read verse three. It reads, 
So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns, man. Okay? So the woman that sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, okay, the scarlet is red, okay, which Esau is red, and that beast is the seven heads and ten horns, man, okay? The, the seven heads represents NATO, and the ten horns represents uh, the, e, the EU, man, okay? <clears throat> uh, the seven heads, let's see, that. Um, it's going to be Greece, Rome, Spain, French, Germania, Major, Minor, uh, and Britain, okay? And all of these ruled at one time or another uh, on the Esau, man, okay? And America, you know, comes comes out of that, man, okay? America is the whore that sitteth on the beast, man, okay? It says... I'm going to read it again. No, verse 3. So he, so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness and I saw a woman, okay, America, sitting upon a scarlet colored beast, okay, that represents the seven heads of NATO and the ten horns of the, um, of the EU infrastructure, full of the names of blasphemy, man, okay, having seven heads and ten horns, man, okay, Esau is the epitome of walking sin, man, okay. He's full of the names of, of blasphemy, man, okay? He claims to be God-fearing and claims the Bible and claims to be righteousness, but he, he throws it behind him, man, okay? This this devil has broken every law, statute, and commandment of the Bible, man, okay? <clears throat> they, they submit, um, uh, um, support gay marriage. That's against the scriptures. Women over men. That's against the scriptures, okay? The woman's word is over the man's word. That's oh, that's 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 not part of the scripture, okay? A woman can just say you 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 know can can say you you so called raped her or whatever, and Esau is coming to carry you off, man. Okay. All this is against the scriptures, man. Okay. And by by Esau uh, being in, in 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 rule, okay. These things are um, the things that are that are opposite of the Most High uh, are definitely uh, taking place, man. Okay. So let me go back to um. It says I saw a woman sitting upon a scarlet colored beast, full of name, full of the full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. Man, okay, as I mentioned, the seven heads uh, represent NATO. Okay, uh, which the the origin of that is is Greece, Rome, Spain, um, the Gauls, um, which is the, the French, um, Germania, Major, Minor, uh, and Britain. Okay, and the ten horns. Um, the the EU infrastructure, okay, which um, came together by the Treaty of Rome signed on March 25th, 1957, okay, and it consisted of the um, it consisted of France, West Germany, okay, Italy, the Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, England. Ireland, Denmark, and Greece, okay, that was known as the 10 common markets, okay, of the European uh, economic um, community, okay, so the treaty was signed on March 25th, 1957, and the, um, they would, they, you know, they were basically established on uh, 1958 in January, okay, <clears throat> all right, so it's, it's, it's now known as um, the EU, Okay, it started off as the, the 10 common markets or the EEC, the European Economic Community, but now it's known as the EU, man. Okay, I'll read on. It says Revelation 17 and 4. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness. Uh, of her fornication man okay and this woman america okay was arrayed in purple okay the purple represents 
um, rulership, man. Okay, so you know America um, does have supreme rulership. You know until uh, until the missiles come, man. Okay, until the missiles come, right? It said she was. Um, Deck with golds and stones. Okay, that's the um, representing um, the riches of the world, which the riches of the world really belong to us. Okay, the saints, the Israelites. Okay, it says having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness for fornications, man. Okay, the golden cup in her hand is is the rulership, man. Okay, full of abominations and filthiness and fornication, man. Okay. Full of the, the, the rape and robbery and the murder of Jake, man. Okay? The filthiness of a fornication. So America was, was built up on upon Jake's destruction, man. Okay? And here, they not, not, not only is America is, is, the, um, is the home of the rape, robbery, and murder of, of Jake, you so-called Israelites, okay? But they also support uh, homosexuality, man, weirdos and transgenders, man. Okay, that's the abominations and the filthiness of a fornication, man. Okay. Verse five, it reads, and upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the Great, the Mother of Harlots and Abominations of the Earth, man. Okay, Mystery Babylon, the Great, which is America, man. The Mother of Harlots, man. Okay, America. Okay, which is Esau, okay? Wicked E, man, the pale male, man, okay? All right. Verse 6, and I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints, man, and with the blood of the mart martyrs of Yahweh Shah. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration, man, okay? Drunken with the blood of the saints, man, okay? Because the slavery... Man, we, we, the, the Esau, the wicked E, the pale male, has been spilling blood, Jake's blood, since the days of slavery, man. Okay? Since the days of slavery, man. Since the conquistadors, man. Okay? Slavery in the islands, man. It was millions of us slaughtered, man. Okay? And the woman is drunk with the blood of the saints until this very day, man. Okay? Who are the saints? The Israelites are the saints, man. According to the scriptures, man. Okay. Psalms 15 and, uh, and, and 5. I can just get it real quick. Psalms 15 and 5. Gather my saints together and to me those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, man. Okay. Who is that? That's. That's the e elect, man, okay? Gather my saints unto me. That's the elect. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, that's going to be the elect, man. Okay? Let me go to another one. Psalms. 149. So like you Psalms one forty eight and and fourteen Salaki so says he also exalted the horn of his people, okay, the power. Of his people, the horn represents power, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, of people near to him, praise ye Yahweh, man. Okay, so he's gonna exalt, okay? He's gonna wake up, okay? He's gonna he's gonna um bid us to the marriage, man. He's gonna wake us up, man. He's gonna exalt the horn, the power of his people, okay? The saints, the praise of all his saints. Even of the children of Israel, a people near into, into him, praise ye Yahweh, man. Okay? <clears throat> and 
And it reads, I saw the woman drunken with the blood. Verse 6, I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Yahweh Hamashiach. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration, man. Okay. So, you know, that, you know, the, the saints are the martyrs, man. Okay. They was, that was, uh, martyrs of, of Yahweh Shah, man. Okay. In ancient days. Okay. And that was going to be martyrs in, in these days times, man. Okay. We're not going to, um, you know, in the time of Jacob's trouble, some of us are going to be put to death for not taking the chip, man. Some of us, some of us is going to be beheaded. Okay. <clears throat> and if that's what it is, man, hey, man, so be it, man. Okay. And it says, and when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration, man. He, 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 he was like, um, he saw the technology and the glory uh, of, of America, man. Okay. And it was a, it was a, it was a, a, a beautiful woman, man. So he marveled at her, man. He wondered with great admiration, man. All right. Verse seven, Revelation 17 and seven. And the angel said unto me, wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carried her, which hath the seven horns and the heads, man. Okay. So the angel's basically telling John that I'm going to break down what's, who the woman is and, and who the beast is, man. Okay, and what's gonna and, you know and what's gonna and what's gonna you know happen to it? All right, Revelation seventeen and eight. It reads, "The beast, the beast that thou sawest was sawest sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder." Whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was and is not, and yet is. Okay, I'm gonna read that again. Seventeen Re Revelation seventeen and eight. The beast that thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit. Okay, so the beast that was and is not. It's the um the Roman Empire. Okay? That was the beast. Right? And it said, and is not, because the Roman Empire fell. Okay. And shall ascend out of the bottom bottomless pit, Salakia, and go into perdition. Okay? So America is an extension of the Roman Empire, okay? America continues the custom of the Roman Empire and is Esau, okay? The bottomless pit is, is, is Europe, okay? So it says, The beast that was, that thou sawest, was and is not, man, okay? That was the Roman Empire, okay? Because the, the Roman Empire ruled and then it fell. Okay, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit. Okay, the bottomless pit is uh is Europe. Okay, and go into perdition. Okay, it will be destroyed. Okay, America will be destroyed, man. Okay, and they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. When they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is, man. Okay? They that dwell on the earth, that's the other nations, man. Okay? The elect of Israel is written in the book of life. Okay? And the beast that was is America. All right? Salakia. Verse 9, it reads, And here is the mind which have wisdom. The seven heads of seven mountains 
on which the Mormon sitteth, man. Okay, the mountains represents um, governments, man, or the nations. Okay, when they were, um, it says. The seven heads are the seven mountains on which the woman sitteth, man. So America sits on the shoulders of these other nations, man, on, on these other uh, on these other governments, man. Okay? Verse 10. And there are seven kings. Five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not. Yet, yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. <coughs> so like you. So it says... And there were seven kings, five were fallen, okay? The five that were fallen is um, the Greeks, um, uh, Spain, the Gauls, uh, the French, you know, Germania Major and Minor, okay? And they say the one is, which is Rome, and the other is yet to come, okay? And goeth. Salakia, and it says Salakia. Revelation 17 and 10. And there are seven kings, five are fallen. The Greeks, the Spanish, the Spanish, the French, the Romans, the Rome. No, no, Salakia. Greek, Spain, the French, which are the Gauls, and Germania, Major, and Minor. Okay. And one is, which is Rome, and the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. That's referring to Britain, okay? That, that short space, that's referred um, to Britain, okay? Verse 11, And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition, okay? That eighth is America, okay? Because it is of the seven, okay? America comes out of Britain, man, okay? And it says, And goeth into perdition, is going to be destroyed. All right, verse 12. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as of yet, but received power as kings one hour with the beast, man. Okay, and that one hour started in 1958. Okay, when they started, um, when the ten, the uh, the ten common markets, um, became the EU, man. Okay, they became new nations, man. Okay. And that one hour is represents from 1958 until now. Now to understand that, you must under, understand the the days with the most with the most high. Okay, thousand years is, is is but a day. Okay, that's 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 you know that's for the, the, the spiritual mind and I. All right. Verse 13, Revelation 13, 17 and 13. These have one mind and shall give the power and strength unto the beast, man. Okay. So EU will give the power and strength into NATO, man. Okay, because some of the NATO nations are also uh, EU nations. Okay, verse fourteen: These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them, for He is Lord of lords and King of kings, and they that are with Him are called the chosen and the faithful, man. Okay, the nations will war with who you're going to call Jesus Christ. Which we know his name is Yahweh Shah Mashiach. That's the lamb that this scripture is, is referring to, man. Okay? It says, but the lamb shall overcome, man. Okay? Yahweh Shah and the, 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 um, the heavenly hosts will not be defeated. Okay? You can read about the nations um, warring with Yahweh Shah in 2nd Ezra, man. The 13th chapter, man. Okay? Where it tells you about the, 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 um, about the man that waxed strong with the, with the thousands in heaven. Okay, and he came standing upon the chariot. Okay, that looked like a mountain and subdued and, and, and subdued um, the multitude of men. Okay, Second Ezra thirteen, Second Ezra thirteen chapter, man. Okay, just start at one, and you'll read about the war. Okay, when they tried to make war with the lamb. Okay, and how the, the lamb will overcome. Okay. For he is Lord of lords and kings of kings, and they that are with him are called the chosen and faithful, man. That's the elect, man. It's all about the elect, man. Okay? Verse 15. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the whole cities and peoples are, Salakia. Revelation 17 and 15. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, 
where the horse sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues, man. Okay. And he is the angel breaking it down to John, man. Okay. Verse 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Okay. So these nations, especially the European nations, are, are, are pissed at USA, at, at, at America, man. Okay. Are pissed at the whore, man, which is America, man. Okay. And they say they should make her desolate, man. Okay. The missiles, okay, from Russia and other nations shall make this place des desolate, man. It says, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire, man. Okay. That means that her power structure will be destroyed, man. Okay. And burnt with nuclear missiles. And it says uh, it should make her desolate and naked, man. So her wickedness uh, is going to be exposed, man. And it's being exposed right now, man. Esau, Edom, man. Okay. Wicked E, the pale male. Okay. For the most high power have put in their hearts to fulfill his will, to agree and give the kingdom unto the beast, until the words of the most high should be fulfilled. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth, with again which is America. Okay. And with that, you know, I hope there was edification. Like I said, this is a lesson taught by men that have been taught that's been passed down. So it's definitely been done better by better. I just went through it through the spirit. I'm gonna say Kaw Halal, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rakaha Kwadash, the bonus to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone, peace, blessing, salutation to the hopeful elect on the four corners of the earth, putting in his work in faith and truth and sincerity, and to the few sisters that are trying to receive the word of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, and I'm just being this in silence. Shalom, Baba Baba.